Hello again everyone, Marcus here. I review stuff today. I'm reviewing the song A Better South by American Aquarium. As always, this song was a request from one of my viewers, so if you want to be that person to request something, just put it in the comments and I'll be sure to add it to my list. So I can tell you right now, I don't think I've ever heard anything from American Aquarium, so going in, you know, going in blind, not really sure what to expect, and just hoping for a good song. That's about all I can really say. Um, so... Let's give it a shot. Again, this is A Better South by American Aquarium. Let's do it. I was born in the shade of a long leaf pine, the proud southern son of Caroline. Proud of who I am. So proud of how far we've come On the backs of the poor These towns were built For every ounce of pride Comes a pound of guilt There's a shadow here Looms long and black It's always one step forward And two steps back Monuments to treason To the right side of history We're always late Still arguing the difference Between heritage and hate Not bad, not bad. Um, I think lyrically, yeah, you know, it was on point. It was good. Um, vocally and instrumentally, I, I feel like it was maybe a little bit too generic for me. Uh, to me, it just sounded like like a pop country song, you know. Um, maybe a little bit better than a pop country song. I really don't like pop country that much, and I liked this song, so I, I think I should tell you something. Um, but lyrically and instrumentally, maybe like I said, maybe just a, uh, not lyrically. Uh, sorry. Um, 
instrumentally and vocally maybe just a little bit too generic for me i don't know i just i you know i feel like i had heard that that progression before i guess so anyway let's break it down like we always do of course starting with lyrics so let's take a look here we have a bit of a of an about section it says a Better South is a progressive anthem delivered by a Southern man who is proud of his roots, but is disappointed in Southerners holding on to the ugly rem remnants of a racist past. Uh, Barham encourages those that are holding on to let go so that a better South, one worth being proud of, can take shape. Okay. I mean, I definitely got that from the song, for sure. So let's take a look at it. It says, I was born in the shade of a longleaf pine, the proud Southern son of Caroline. Uh, proud of who I am and where I'm from, but I ain't so proud of how far we've come. On the backs of the poor, the, these towns were built. For every ounce of pride comes a pound of guilt. There is a shadow that here looms long and, bla and black. It's always one step forward and two steps back. See, I mean, I definitely get that idea that it's like, man, the South still has a long way to go. Um, that, you know, he says on the backs of the poor, I'm assuming he means like slaves and indentured servants and stuff like that. Um, and for every ounce of pride comes a pound of guilt. So like if you know the true history of a lot of these Southern states, it's like, yeah, you can be proud of your, your state's history or heritage or what have you. But I mean, it also comes with a fair amount of guilt if you pay attention. Uh, there's a shadow here looms long and black. It's always one step forward and two steps back. So a lot of these places have trouble making pr uh, progress. Where it seems like we're always moving backwards. The only dream that ain't worth having is the one you won't chase down. They say, sing your song, boy, shut your mouth. But I believe in a better South. And so people say, like, yeah, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. But uh, he says he believes in a better South. Down here, we're still fighting. For all the wrong reasons, old men still defend these monuments to treason to the right side of history. We're always late, still arguing the difference between heritage and hate. And so, yeah, this is very just um, topical, I think, you know, very um, timely, I guess, with, you know, in the last maybe five, six years, however long, uh, I, I think the discussions around uh, the Confederate flag and Confederate statues and monuments, you know, th those discussions have uh, really picked up steam and, you know, people will always defend, you know, the, the Confederate flag, its heritage or whatever, but uh, I, I definitely agree more with the side of, like, uh, you know, it, it's... It, uh, the confederacy were a bunch of traitors right they seceded from the union over the right to hold slaves or if you want to argue about it uh, over states rights to own slaves so um at the end of the day hundreds of thousands of americans were killed uh over this conflict um and again i don't, I don't know how you can see the confederacy as anything but uh, a traitorous treasonous um institution i guess so and on top of that uh you know with the jim crow era and everything like the south uh, and don't get me wrong racism isn't only in the south you know racist institutions didn't only exist in the south but um I, you know it's just we, we do a lot of wrong stuff down here that's all i gotta say uh so yeah i mean i completely agree with his sentiment here the only dream that ain't worth having is the one you won't chase down. They say, sing your song, boy, and shut your mouth. But I believe in a better South. Yes, I believe in a better South. I'm sick and tired of listening to Daddy's Generation, the byproduct of war and segregation. Still thinking they can tell us what to do, who can live where, and who can love who. It does seem like, like you know, the older the older generations are always um, the biggest barriers uh, from uh, to progress, I guess. Um you know just people they're stuck in their ways and honestly i give I, I might have said this before i feel like i give older people less leeway um because you know if like the civil rights movement wasn't that long ago and we're currently going through the black lives matter movement like right now um so if you're old especially if you're old as fuck um, like you've had decades and multiple movements and and uh, protests and everything you had multiple chances to sort of learn and see the other side and to uh, sort of accept and understand and you still haven't like uh, to me I like when people say oh they're from an older generation that they're racist because they don't know any better that's how they were raised like I don't I never accept that because it's like you've had more time than any of us to get to get it right like kids teenagers like i give them a little bit more leeway they haven't quite figured things out yet they're still learning empathy they're still trying you know they're still learning history 
I give them a little bit more leeway. Uh, older people, you got to get your shit together. Um, anyway, I'm sick and tired of listening to Daddy's Generation. Yeah, the byproduct of war segregation. Uh, the only dream that ain't worth having is the one you, you won't chase down. They say sing your song, boy, and shut your mouth, but I believe in a better South. I believe in a better South. They say sing your song, boy, shut your mouth. Yes, I believe in a better South. I mean, lyrically, you know, very timely, very um, just, yeah, on point for just kind of what we've been going through the last few years. Uh, a lot of the movements and, and ideas that are kind of happening right now. So um, I, I, I can't say that the song was maybe cleverly written i don't know if there's any lines where i'm just like oh man what a beautifully written line uh but you know there's a lot of truth in it and just um i say truth it's a lot of stuff i agree with you know um but lyrically it's fine give it like a thumb and a half why not um like i said instrumentally vocally maybe a little bit too generic for me you know and i think the the instrumentation and the, and the vocals are really just a vessel for the message so i don't know if they are they necessarily have to be um unique or just really uh kind of out there or whatever you know um i i think that genericness i don't know if that's a word uh, of them kind of, uh, you know, helps with the message. It helps get the message across. You're not so focused on the instrumentation that uh, you're not paying attention to the lyrics. So I, I think for what the song's going for, it achieves its purpose. Uh, yeah, I just would like something a little bit different, I think, instrumentally and vocally. So I'll give it like a neutral thumb. I, I didn't hate it. I didn't really like it. Uh, just kind of was what it was. And then so as far as replay value goes, you know, I honestly don't see myself putting this one on my playlist. You know, I've never been a huge country fan to begin with. Um, but when people do country well and they do it really authentically and um, they use it to tell really good stories. I, you know, I'm thinking of people like Sturgill Simpson, Tyler Childers, uh, Jason Isbell. Like those are really the people who, those are the few country artists who have really made it onto my playlist. Um, I don't see this song on my playlist. You know, I, I, I just feel like instrumentally and vocally, it's, it's too much like other things that I don't really care for. So uh, as far as replay value goes, you know, not that I think this is a bad song, but I'm, I'm going negative on this one just because uh, I don't see it on my playlist, you know. Um, but regardless, you know, that, that's the thing too. It wasn't a bad song. I didn't I didn't hate the song. Uh, I just think it's not really for me. It's not really the kind of music that gets me excited and makes me want to like, you know, jam out and, and, and enjoy. So yeah, just not quite what, what, I, what I go for. But regardless, Pretty good song. Thank you so much for the request. Uh, as always, if you want to request something, put it in the comment section. I'll be sure to add it to my list. Um, if you enjoyed the music, go support the artists. You know, go listen to the music wherever you can. And of course, if you want to support me, just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube. You know, like and subscribe and comment. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.